What's going on YouTube? Clover Bells here back with another Series 13 team building video and today we're going to be taking a look at Melmetal. So um, if you remember our tier list, we ranked Melmetal very very high uh, and for good reason. Uh, if you just look at its space stats, uh, you, you see why um, we ranked it so high. So really really good um, HP and attack and defense uh, and it's very very slow in the speed area, right? And the reason why that's also really good is because um, you, you outspeed the Calyrex Ice Rider in Trick Room, right? So against other Trick Room teams, if they have the Calyrex Ice Rider, you can always bring in your Metal Metal and all of a sudden you got the faster Trick Room one as opposed to them. Um, Iron Fist is a really good ability where, you know, your punch base moves have uh, 1.2 boost. It's almost like a free life orb. Um, so something like Double Iron Bash, which is its main stab move. I don't see any other move that you would run other than this. Uh, in that first slot um, is really good and then you also get high horsepower I think these two are these two moves are staple moves on the Mel metal just because in a Dynamax format the the max steel spike and the max quake boost are very strong for Mel metal especially in the max quake area right because this special defense is not so good um, so any kind of boost that it can get there is very much appreciated um, and that being said I think I think the um, the non Gmax form is better than uh, than the G Max form uh, because of these Steel Spike and Quake Boost. So, um, as opposed to what we're gonna run with it, so you have to consider like what it's weak to and what uh, and if that weakness is common in the meta. So I think right away you're a Steel type. You got a Ground weakness. Who's the best Ground type right now? Groudon, right? And so now I have to think. Okay, how can I help Mel Metal? Um, you know, counter not really counter, but like help deal with Groudon with the uh, the rest of my team so i'm already thinking one other thing uh, i think kyogre um i also think palkia i don't think the, i'm gonna put both on one team but just in guard just uh, to give you some advice when you're doing your team building either you take the melmetal palkia route um to help you deal with groudon or you do the kyogre route um you know just you know i think both are very very good but for this video we're going to be looking at kyogre right so um Kyogre does a few things from Mel Metal. Again, it helps it against Groudon. It also brings out the rain, uh, which helps Mel Metal with that other weakness that it has, uh, which is the fire type stuff. So, you know, stuff like Victini, stuff like Charizard, they're gonna do a whole lot of damage into Mel Metal. But if you have Kyogre, you can take away, um, you know, a lot of that super effective fire damage uh, and even take away Charizard's Sun. So that way it's not doing so much damage into Mel Metal, especially during Dynamax. Um, I think that has a lot of use there. So I think these two go very, very well together. But then now you just have to figure out how do I support these two um, with uh, either another support mod or maybe like another restricted or another legendary Uber. Um, so I'm thinking, okay, Kyogre, you're strong. Um, you hit hard, but you're not the fastest thing uh, on the planet. And I want to help Kyogre, you know, get that speed advantage against you know like the ice rider stuff like the the zations the red jetlekis because those are the things that are going to want to come into these kind of games so this way you can stop kyogre from doing uh such big damage uh and one way to do that is uh to add something like a whimsicott here and you know if you've been a follower of the channel for a while this might be a little bit of a shocker right because we always use grimmsnarl but never really the cotton ball well i think on this kind of team this is where the cotton ball has its use um, especially because it gets Tailwind, um, so this way your Kyogre um, can outspeed a lot of things uh, in the right position. Click that Water Spout button or click that Origin Pulse button and then just, you know, rip faces off. Now, from here, how do I want to continue to add to the team? Well, I know that the um, Calyrex matchup uh, couldn't use something, right? Because Shadow Rider is also something that is common. Well, I think something else that can benefit um, with um, you know Tailwind support is something like an Evelsol here, and you can take care of that Shadow Rider weakness as well as the Ice Rider to a degree, right? Because you have Foul Plane Sucker Punch. Um, but with Evelsol here, you know it's nice to be able to take that away, and then good against Victini as well, right? Especially if you have like this Assault Vest. So you know, and also good against like Ground on stuff because Presbyterian Blades can't hit it very well. Um, but yeah, like Evelsol just makes sense here because. Now what you can do is you have an airstream user uh, and you're not like completely reliant on Tailwind to help you like get faster. So you have that going for you and you also have max darkness plays 
where you can drop special defenses and then Kyogre can just do even more damage um, thanks to uh, Dynamaxi Belt Toll Play, right? Um, so really, really good there. And you also get that Flying type uh, where you can maybe even switch out your Mel Metal if you're afraid of a Max Quake coming into it and then just pivot into the Belto, like kind of like bait that move, you know what I'm saying? So um, in that regards, Evelto makes a lot of sense here. I think Evelto is the best restricted in the format in this kind of uh, meta. I think this is the S tier of the meta, Evelto. Um, having said that, um, all right, so I got Whimsicott, I got Evelto, Kyogre. I got all these things that are doing relatively well um, with Tailwind. I want to make it a little bit faster um, and just strengthen my fast mode, but also give myself a Trick Room option. And I think the Calyrex Shadow Rider does just that. And this is another Mon, um, like Kyogre, that has a, a, a damaging spread move and something else that can also benefit from Airstream, some Tailwind support, and also benefit from Max um, Darkness Special Defense drops, right? Calyrex is very, very oppressive on this kind of team. And now you can kind of see how it's all coming together. Um, and it not only does it get Astro Barrage, but again, um, it does get Trick Room. That's trick. <laughs> I meant this. Okay, it does get trick room. And, you know, what we can do is, you know, reverse trick rooms uh, in the first turn or, you know, get our Mel Metal in position in the late game where we can click trick room on the Calyrex and now all of a sudden Mel Metal is in position to rip faces off, right? So I do like having that option of not only having Tailwind, uh, but also having Trick Room on the Calyrex, right? And then from here, the last slot, honestly, you can just slap on a Zacian here, because why not? <laughs> why not? I mean, it, again, another Steel type that benefits in the rain with Kyogre, you know, Swordfish is still very, very strong. Now you have Whimsicott um, to also give Zacian more speed advantage against this uh, the opposing Calyrex Shadow Rider, the opposing Alekis. Um, you know, you have something that can hit an opposing Mount Metal relatively hard because, you know, max steel spikes are going to be boosting this thing. But then if you have Sacred Sword, you know, you don't really care uh, for those defense boosts, right? So then you have something for that. Um, I think pocket teams are going to be very, very good. Um, and, you know, just having that fairy type advantage um, where, you know, with the play rough um, is good there. And of course, Evelto, right? You know, without the Zacian, how do you like damage Evelto? Um, yes, you have this thing, but like, just having a Zacian along with that is just makes the matchup a little bit more easier, right? And this this five is a very common core. Like Kyogre, Whimsicott, Evelto, Calyrex, Zacian. This is like a common five. And then this last slot, this six slot can be like whatever you want, honestly. And I just slapped on a Mel Metal here. Uh, but it just makes a lot of sense in, in what we're trying to do uh, with our team. All right, so that being said, let's recap. We got answers to Sun, right? We have the Kyogre, we have the Evelto. Um, they can help us there. We have a fast mode with the Whimsicott, uh, with the Calyrex and the Zacian, all right? We have answers to Palkia. Um, we have an answer to Calyrex, both Calyrexes actually, um, you know, thanks to the Eveltal um, and of course the Zacian. Um, and then, you know, for stuff like Magirna, again, you have a Mel Metal, you have a Zacian, you should be okay. <laughs> and of course, Kyogre just uh, helps us more in, the, in that Sun matchup, right? So. I think we have a lot of tools for what we're trying to do against uh, the meta, and I think this is a very, very nice team. Now, that being said, um, if there's no Trick Room, I don't think you even bring the Mel Metal. I think you just run with these five homies um, and just choose four to bring in that matchup. But if it is Trick Room, I think you got to bring the Mel Metal in the back. But this is how I would do it, right? So uh, let's just go ahead and uh, reveal the GIFs. Um, Kyogre and Mel Metal was our starting uh, duo. Then we rounded it out with Eveltel. Uh, and Whimsicott for, you know, a faster mode and strengthen the faster mode with a Calyrex Shadow Rider and a Zacian. So that's our six. All right, so now we're going to try and build the rest of the team in terms of EVs, items, and movesets. So again, I always like to do the moves and the items first because that will dictate the EVs. Um, I think over here in our last slot, we go Protect. And I do want to run the Life Orb on the Mel Metal here. Um, just make it like a really, really strong Dynamax option. And this third move is honestly up for grabs. Um, I've seen Thunder Punch um, really good um, at sniping uh, potential Kyogres uh, because if you look uh, on this team, how do you really deal with it? All you really have is like Snarl Eveltal um, with the Assault Vest and you do have a, um, a, a Whim and not even then. That's, uh, you do have a Zacian but like Mel Metal. <laughs> Thunder Punch is really good. The other thing you could do um, is, where is that move? Uh, yeah, here it is. Uh, I, I took it away. Protect. 
You could also do Darkest Lariat, where like you can just go for those max darkness um, special defense drops, and then Kyogre and or Calyrex can just come in the back and potentially sweep thanks uh, to those special defense drops. So I think that's honestly pretty cool there. Um, I think this also gets Ice Punch, so also really, really nice uh, in terms of uh, our coverage. Good for Groudon um, to a degree. Uh, does it get another thing? It does get Rock Slide. I don't think that's like super good. Um, I just want to keep it to like punching moves or something that has like a good use. Um, I could see like a fighting move on this um, be okay just because of Max Knuckle stuff. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go Darkest Area. I'm going to go Darkest Lariat. Um, you know, just... You know, because you have, like... Again, this is a Dark-type move, and then it's boosted by Yvelta. So, like, on Pivot, this can do a lot of damage. <laughs> Alright, so I, I do like Darkest Lariat here. But if you like Thunder Punch, um, just so that you get the benefit from the Iron Fist, um, along with Life Orb, and, you know, you can't snipe Kyogre, go with Thunder Punch. I'll leave it here for now. Uh, but I do like... I do like the, the, the Darkest Lariat, um, just for that boost, but... Uh, I'll keep I'll keep Thunder Punch here. Uh, now, how are we gonna do this? So I think you can still run Brave here um, with zero speed, um, just so that you know you are um, fa faster than like some other stuff. Uh, but again, the main thing is that you're trying to outspeed the the Ice Rider. All right, you don't outspeed Amoongus, unfortunately, but at least you outspeed the Ice Rider. Um, because I have the Life Orb, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna push this to 219. Um, and again, the reason why I do this is so that uh, I can maximize my HP where I can optimize the, the Life Orb Recoil. So if you end with a nine, again, because you're losing one tenth of your HP, 219 divided by 10 um, comes out to 21.9. So that rounds down to 21. If I break the threshold and I go to 220, 220 divided by 10, that's 22. I'm taking 22 damage per turn. I don't need to do that. I'm just gonna undercut the threshold and go to 219. All right, and then from here, I just want to like maximize my attack like this because you know I am a Mel Metal. Two fourteen is very very strong, and the rest you see I have a lot of special defense that I can do. Uh, I can uh, utilize here. I can just put all of it in special defense like this. Um, the one thing that uh, you do note um, is one oh nine. That's a odd number, so you're not like fully capitalizing off of that max quake boost from high horsepower. So what you can do is just drop this HP by one point. Um, and then just go to like special defense 196 like this and now I have um, that that you know even number where I can take advantage of the high horsepower unfortunately I can't do anything for the defense because I would be wasting EVs that way but at the very least you know we got a good metal metal spread and you know it's a, it's a pretty standard life orb set nothing too crazy um, it does what it needs to do all right next up we got Kyogre here so I think of course we're gonna be running water spout a uh, very standard Kyogre set actually water spout Origin Pulse, um, Ice Beam, we got that Ice Coverage, and then Protect, right? That's why also I didn't want to do Ice Punch here because I already got the Ice Move on Kyogre here. But if I did it, I probably would consider Ice Punch. Um, Mystic Water is relatively nice here. Um, you know, and then just being faster than Reggie, Lecky, and Tailwind is really all we really need to care about. And you just need 139 for that. But, like, the thing is other Mons are going to be going for that, that speed tier, right? Assuming they also have Tailwind. So what we've done in the past is we've gone to 140 just to speed creep those speed creepers. But then, you know, then we kind of lose the speed tie against like other max speed Kyogres. And especially if they have Thunder, that's bad news. So then we just make it come down to speed tie and just max out that speed. And then from here, um, we just go to the third EV bump in the special attack nature. You see how our investment takes us from 218 to 220. Um, because with every 80 EVs in the modest nature, there's three bumps. And this is the third one, right? So it only, it went from 76, which is the first bump. You see that 196 to 198. Then after 80 more EVs, you go to 156. Here's the second bump. But I want to have a little bit more oomph in that Mystic Water, um, you know, Water Spout play. So I invest a little bit more in Special Attack, and just a point in the bulk, like this. And the rest just goes into HP. So like on the off chance that there's a Rillaboom with max overgrowth, you can optimize. Uh, your grassy terrain recovery but that's pretty much it for our, our Kyogre spread we just need to outspeed Aleki. Whimsicott I mean you know uh actually let me do the Calyrex first uh and I'll tell you why but let's do Calyrex we said Astro Barrage and Trick Room 
I think something like will o -Wisp is really good um, just so that you can neuter those physical attackers like a Groudon, like a Zacian, like a Melmetal, um, and then just click Protect. Um, now here, I did want the Focus Sash, um, now, which made things a little bit complicated on the Whimsicott because the Whimsicott also wanted the Focus Sash, but I'll tell you what item we put there in a second, but this is a pretty standard Timid set with 253, 253 spread. Nothing else you need to do here with that. Um, this is where things got a little interesting. So, Whimsicott, um, of course I went Helping Hand. You know, who doesn't want Helping Hand Water Spot or Helping Hand um, Astro Barrage? It just does so much damage. I think Moonblast, that fairy move is really, really nice uh, for Whimsicott. Good against uh, Evelto stuff and opposing Grimmsnarl. Protect, I could have went with Protect. Um, but instead, you know, just for like mirror purposes, I went with Cotton Spore. Um, so that helps there. Um, and then here, because I couldn't really put a Focus Sash, I just went with Eject Bun, to be honest. Um, I know there's no Switcheroo on this, um, but at least if they click Fake Out, then I can still get better positioning that way, and then I can get Tailwind later on. So in that regard, I still wanted to, you know, have that in, the, in that retrospect. So I think this is still just another 252, 252 spread. And, you know, a relatively standard uh, Whimsicott. If you hear some noises, that that is the... Uh, it's a hair dryer being used in my house so hopefully it's not making too much noise all right now that the hair dryer shenanigans are over now we can go back into our, our building and here we have the Beltel. so with the assault vessel Beltel, um honestly again just owing uh just to have that recovery and deal damage over time weaken the opponent have that max airstream option is really really nice sucker punch you always pin that opposing calyrex slot um really good against like uh, other things if you don't have speed control um, and then finally, I think foul play is also really, really good. Um, it's your strongest max darkness play, so I, I, I like it a lot. And um, the way we built our Eveltal is pretty much going to be the same Eveltal spread that we used in the other video. Um, we're going to be timid max speed, so this way we don't like we have to at least make it come down to a speed tie against these other Eveltals. Um, I do want that even number in the special defense, uh, just to fully maximize my uh, benefit from the assault vest, uh, because if I have an odd number like this. Uh, then it becomes a decimal and it's not quite optimal, right? So I always want to get that even number there. Um, and then from here, I invest 173 EVs in the HP regard. I'm sorry, 172. So this way with 223, I can optimize the weather chip damage. Um, I don't really have a, a calc for the, you know, the special attack. So I just put one point there and the rest can just go into defense. So at least this way with this bulk, you have a, a solid chance uh, against, uh, you know, Zacian player off stuff. But again, um, really good bulk here on the Beltel, relatively standard. And then Zacian um, with Behemoth Blade um, and Sacred Sword. Very standard set um, with Play Rough and Protect. And then just having enough speed where I can outspeed um, the Aleki after like a plus one, you know, from, from that airstream. I just need um, 187. Like, uh, technically 185, but like I want to outspeed those speed creepers, right? So I just go to 187. Um, and then I just want to make the Zacian relatively bulky, you know, just going for that 191 um, standard HP stat um, just to optimize against uh, that damage that you get over time. Uh, and then just having that second EV bump over here with the attack nature and then just the final two points in the defensive bulk here. And that's pretty much the squad. You see how we just like built it just based on like speed tiers um, and bulk, you know, not, not really bulk, but like um you know in terms of like type coverage and what we're trying to do against uh, the rest of the meta so it's it's not meant to like be heavily damage calc intensive um it's a fast team right and you know generally they have a little bit more basic spreads as opposed to like a bulkier grim style incineroar kind of team um but for our purposes uh, it can do the job and now what i, what I want to do is just show you at least one battle where we played it on the legacy website um, because you know series 13 ladder still not live yet so some people are still just playing uh, on the legacy website just so that we can get some games in and i'll show you one sample game um, where we use the squad so let's take a look at that all right so this is a this is a, a, a trick room game where like they they have like a similar magirna team that we made uh last time but um that being said well let me i think i screwed up the settings here let me just make it small there we go um, so he's got Palkia, Calyrex with Magirna, right? And there is the Amoongus. Um, 
there's a zero aura there and it actually looks really good against what i have sometimes a little bit <laughs> but we do have whimsicott now the thing is um we do bring the melmetal right and this is what i'm talking about we have to bring the melmetal in the back so this way if he sets up trick room we have the faster thing um if he brings the amoongus we figure it out um but from here i still think kyogre i still think he belts on calories look really really good here and you know with melmetal on the back uh, along with um the the other thing i <laughs> i think it's very strong so i'm gonna show you what i led here so he leads zero or magirna um and here's he belts all and here's calyrex shadow rider so um we covered zero or in the in the um the tier list video and you know it gets a lot of cool things it gets electro web it gets fake out um that being said i don't want my evelt all to go down instantly so i i'm in the position where like i kind of have to max it i don't want to bring in you know the the other thing um the metal metal just yet i know this mcgear is going to set up the trick room but at the very least i can still get some free damage off so that's exactly what i'm going to do i'm going to max the belt all here i know he wants to try and kill it and that's and he actually clicked fake out um so this is free damage um that that's very good damage and there's the max darkness now i could have killed the zero aura there uh, but i did not want him to get the free swap uh, because he did click trick room right because if i took out the zero aura with the darkness Magirna clicks Trick Room and then he brings in the shot, the, the Ice Rider and then I'm kind of screwed from there, right? But at least if I keep both of these things on the field, now I still have that pressure from the Calyrex Shadow Rider. Because now, look at this. He has no Trick Room Sweeper. Technically, Magirna is that Sweeper, but we have a Sash Calyrex on the field ready to rip its head off. And this Zera Aura also doesn't want to take that Astro Barrage. So the only way he gets out of this is if he doubles the Calyrex slot. Uh, but then that means he doesn't touch the Eveltal. And the Eveltal can just do whatever it wants and then take out KO and then we bring in the Melt Metal which outspeeds his Calyrex Ice Rider because whatever he brings in after the Eveltal kill, we outspeed it because we have a Melt Metal. Unless he brings in the Moongus. Okay, so he goes for the Eveltal in this case um, and he stays in with both. So down goes the Magirna and of course we keep our Sash uh, because he went for the Eveltal instead and we have that bulk. And there's the Ash Barrage. So by two turns, we kill two Mons. So now we're kind of okay. He brings in Calyrex and he brings in Omungus. So he did bring the Mushroom. So that means he left the Palkia behind. Understandable. Um. So now um, we're thinking, okay, he's got to spore something. He's not going to spore the Eveltal when he can just kill it, right? Obviously, he's going to spore the Calyrex slot. Uh, because that's the thing that has the plus one boost and can still exert pressure along with having that Sash. So... I know I, I, I don't want to lose the Eveltal right here right now. I want to at least save it. So I'm going to bait that ice move and go into the Mel Metal now and at least outspeed the Calyrex um, next turn, right? So there's he actually just Dynamaxes it. Uh, I thought he would just click Glacial Lance. And there's the Spore, like we said, into the Calyrex. And there's the Hailstorm. So now here's what has to happen. Because the Mel Metal outspeeds the Calyrex, he's forced to almost click follow me, right? And uh, not follow me, Rage Powder. And by doing that, he's not clicking Spore. And even if the Calyrex goes for the our Calyrex, we have a Sash, we click Astro Barrage, we're gonna be doing a lot of damage, uh, potentially even KOing this Amoongus over here, um, because if he's clicking Rage Powder, he's already be gonna get, be taking a lot of chip damage. I don't think he's surviving the plus one Astro Barrage. And then the Calyrex is in big trouble because um, then the Mel's Metal will just outspeed it next turn and then we just win the game. So from here, we're in a pretty good spot no matter what he does. Um, he actually did not click Rage Powder. And look how much damage Mel Metal does into a Dynamax Calyrex. Oh my goodness, that's so much. And of course, now he has to click Spore on something and he explored the Calyrex. And did he quake? The, he quaked the Mel Metal. So Mel Metal goes down. So now he has the fastest thing on the field um, because he went for that play. Um, that being said, there's only one turn of Trick Room left, and we do have the Eveltal here. Um, I I was trying to see if Sucker Punch did pick up here. Now, what I could have done also was go into Kyogre, uh, protect one more turn, and then just click Water Spout, and then we would have been fine. Um, and then Eveltal can just finish the game against the Amoongus. Um, but I wanted to know how much damage the Sucker Punch would do, and I was curious to see if it would KO, right? Uh, but either way, I was fine. I just wanted to do it for science. Um, so there's a Sucker Punch. It actually didn't KO. So I was a little bit sad there. He spored that slot, which means he's going for the Calyrex. Understandable. 
Um, but again, this is still fine because Trick Room is over. Um, and his Amoongus can't really touch the Eveltal out because we're just going to kill the Calyrex right here, right now. But the Water Spout, that's good damage into the Amoongus. Um, and I mean, he spores this slot, but then, you know, he's just giving my Eveltal time to wake up. Um, and, you know, he has Giga Drain instead, and that's not doing anything to an Assault Vested Flying type. We finally wake up, we get some recovery with Oblivion Wing. Um, he has a Cobra Berry, but again, what does that do in the grand scheme of things? Not a whole lot. I mean, you see how much damage Giga Drain is getting. The, the game is pretty much done. Um, it, that's all she wrote. And I tried to try and play another one, but there's there's only like eight people online. And every time I click search on the Legacy website, I was waiting for like five minutes and I still couldn't find the game. So I just said, oh, what the heck, let's just make the video. At least let's just show this battle. It's still a good you know, indicator of, of how to play the team. So. We, Dynamax Assault Vest Eveltal is very, very good in this. If you learn nothing from this, Eveltal is really good, um, along with the pressure from Calyrex, Shadow Rider, and of course Kyogre stuff. So definitely give this team a try. Let me know uh, what you think uh, about Mel Metal on this kind of team, or if you got your own Mel Metal. And again, if you are interested in coaching with me or in building a squad with me, just like this, that is a tier three sub to the channel where, you know, we build a team from scratch on a Discord call. I show you how to do the EVs uh, and we play a couple of test games on Showdown if we ever have time. Or you could do the tier two sub um, to the channel where you can submit a Pokey Paste to me, AKA a team you already made. I take a look at it. I review it a little bit and I optimize it based on the current meta at the moment. Although there is no like, meta yet because you know the ladder hasn't really gone live we're just basing this off of like some tours that have happening and on the legacy website but um definitely you know consider the tier three sub you know it's it's a good experience uh, many have done it uh, many have enjoyed it many have done well with the teams um so you know it should be no different for series 13 so yeah we'll be back with another video in the next one guys peace out and have a good night